This is Brock. Brock's ID number is 850-99021 and Brock is a four-year-old-ish uh, red Labrador Retriever mix who came into the shelter as an owner surrender um, on August 10th. Uh, he weighs 58 pounds and his owners turned him in because they said that they were moving and they didn't take Brock with him. Uh, he's a really sweet guy. Uh, earlier I went to uh, clean out his eyes. He had a little gunk in his eyes and it gave me a nice kiss on the face. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Um, you know, he does show signs of neglect. He has uh, fingernails that are, don't look like they've been trimmed maybe ever. Um, so he hasn't been taken the best care of. Um, he's got a, a skin uh, flight uh, bite marks on his neck and on some of his hands, so he's probably been kept outside and not really, again, the best care. But he's a sweet, he's gentle guy. Sweet. Um, you know, he's great with his handler. He did well on leash. Um, what else would you like to say about Brock? He was, you know, I had him in the, uh, he does show signs of housebreaking. I had him out in the yard and he took a very long uh, pee. Like a long, long piece. So uh, he had been holding it in for a while. So that definitely indicates that he's housebroken. Um, and uh, there was a dog in the next yard that was a rather large dog and uh, just a little bit bigger than him. Um, so medium size. Uh, and he did really nicely with with the other dog. And that dog is an was a male. So he, you know, a large male dog he had no issues with. Um, so he seems to do okay. I've seen him around a couple of other dogs. I did a little kennel walk with him and non-reactive. Kind of wanted to just kind of sniff the bushes on the other side of the on the other side of the walk. Um, so, you know, as as you said, uh, you know, I don't think that he's gotten, I don't think that he's had the, the best life up until now, and that's really a shame, because he's, he's a really nice, gentle, sweet soul. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, there's the kisses. He, he, he just wants to make sure that the point is uh, emphasized that he is gentle and sweet as he tries to kiss you in the face. Um, he, uh, we rehearsed Yeah, this. He's, he's really good. He, he hit all of his marks. Um, he, he could be a little, uh, slightly overweight, it, maybe not overweight, but just not fit. Like he could use some uh, walks, like he hasn't had uh, that kind of, of attention. Yeah, yeah, so um, he, he's probably a good size, but I feel like his general fitness could be improved with some walking, um, some trips to the park, uh, but you can see, I mean, this is what you want, right? You want a dog to just cuddle with you under your arm and yeah, and, and just be your. This is what a, a best friend looks like. Yeah, and he's he's. Uh, I think he's really. You know, the, he, I've had him out for about fifteen or twenty minutes now, and he's finally coming in and, and cuddling with me. So he, uh, I think he's a dog that you know, as we've been saying, has not had the greatest life, but I think that he. You know, once once he gets into a household where he's treated like a member of the family and gets a lot of attention and love that he's always deserved, yeah. he is going to be so grateful. And as you can see, just in you know, just in the uh, the span of this video, like how he's kind yeah. of come towards me and is uh, just cuddling up really, really nicely. Yeah, this and is. That's going to be, that's that's what he's going to do for you. This is a definition of dog best friend, for sure. Just uh, yeah. sitting here, like, uh, taking in every second of attention. So come on down, meet Brock, take him home with you. His ID number is A509-9021. What a good boy. He's so...